Hello, this is Hacker Triple Seven. In today's video, I'm doing another Android video. I plan on doing a Windows 7 video actually, but it didn't work out. I um, ended up screwing up my virtual machine. So, back to Android. Anyway, today's video is me on making your Android device completely transparent. Um, if you want the full look that like I have, you're gonna need a rooted phone with a custom ROM that supports theme management on it. So things like CyanogenMod Mod and the AO. AOKP ROM um, support it. The easiest way to check if your ROM supports it, go to your settings. If it has a themes tab, then it, it basically supports it. If you are lost of what I just said, if you don't know what ROM is or any of this stuff, then you probably don't have it. Um, you have to flash this ROM onto it. Um, so basically, you can't get this kind of transparency, but you can still get some of the layer transparency that I show in the video. But basically, if you have this ROM, I'll have the theme below. You can download it, and it's simply you go on it and click apply, and it gives you a nice transparent look to a lot of the system icons. So for a launcher, we're using Apex Launcher. I believe you can use Nova as well, um, but I'll be using Apex for just, just for the video. So uh, Apex Launcher is a free app that allows you basically to launcher, and we're installing a custom theme to it to allow us to get the nice look. So just download Apex Launcher, then there's one called Glask Art or Glask Lart or something like that. It's basically a glass like theme. You can download the link below or click get more themes and go to the Play Store. It's like the first one available. So you can see it's it's the second one right there. So you can simply just um, open that up and install it. The theme does come with the background that I showed in the video, which is a nice like cloud background. Um, and obviously you can change it if you prefer has a bunch of icons, they're very nice by the way. So you can see they're very minimal and have that kind of light feel to them. The next transparency thing we're working on is the keyboard. So the keyboard is completely transparent as you can see. You can see the clouds right through it and it works pretty well. Um, it works well actually and it looks very nice when it comes to the whole transparent look. By the way, you see my transparent um, messaging that is from the custom theme. So we're using Smart Keyboard Pro. I believe you can use a couple different ones for this theme that we're downloading, but this is the one I just downloaded. Um, it's free and it works fine. So simply download it, and then all you have to do is um, go to the other download link for the th actual theme for it. So it's called Transparent Skin Black. As you can see in the picture, these words going on the screen and it goes straight through the keyboard. It works really well. It's pretty simple to apply. All you have to do to apply it is simply go and find the app. So go to your S section. Click Smart Keyboard Pro. Go to your settings. And simply apply it by going there. Going to General Settings. And going to Select Skin. Now I already have the skin selected so it's not there. But um, for you it'll be there. Just tap on it and um, restart your app. And then you have your keyboard. So if you follow me out through the whole video, I'm going to show you guys exactly what you get now. See how these custom icons, um, this is Apex Launcher. I set it up to a simple transition uh, with a 100% transparency drawer background, which gives us that transparent background while going through our apps. And if you also apply the theme, then you get uh, more transparency in the settings. So it's completely transparent. Looks very nice. The theme also uh, makes your phone app transparent, your contacts app transparent, your messaging app transparent, and some other select actual ones you can download. So for example, it makes Titanium Backup transparent. I'll open it up for you guys. And you can see that it is completely transparent uh, when you're doing your normal stuff. But if you go to you know Backup and Restore tab, then it, it is not anymore. Now, if you're interested in getting this theme, and you, let's say you do not have the custom ROM to work the theme, what you can simply do is look up for CyanogenMod, Mod. That's a simple one um, that works on many devices. If CyanogenMod Mod is available for your phone, then you can get CyanogenMod, Mod, and then you can apply this theme. Anyways, guys, that's all for this video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave a like below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below as well. Anyways, guys, have a nice day. This is the Hacker 0007 and I'm signing off.